at Geosmart 2016, we are here at the booth of Hexagon. What is this? This says backpack. This basically is Leica Pegasus backpack. This is meant for variable 3D reality capture. So what we do is we have five cameras all around it and we have two LiDAR sensors which capture images as well as LiDAR data for you. So what we have is a SLAM technology where we can be position agnostic. So if I initialize the scanner outside an open sky, I can actually be mapping the entire uh, insides of a building. So if I'm doing a BIM project, for example, we do the BIM project with wearing the backpack on our shoulders. So this is a 12 kg instrument with inside which has four batteries inside to power it up and it has communication ports for external sensors to be attached as well as we can have the backpack do uh, on a bicycle for example and I can be riding on the streets as well wherever I cannot pass with a motor so we have two mobile mapping systems one is which sits on the car which is a heavier instrument which is around uh, which is meant for urban mapping and this particular instrument is what we wear and we do the 3d reality capture for gis mapping for asset management as well as for bim uh, projects the quality of the product that you that comes after since it's a backpack it weighs just 12 kg does it affect the quality Yes, it absolutely does. So what we are talking about from accuracy point of view for the data sets that we generate is around five centimeters of survey grade accuracy. So when you wear this, this these two LiDAR systems are basically generating 600,000 points per second. So what the data, the data density that you generate wearing this on your back is as good as any other mobile mapper which generates a million points per second. And the image quality for, for indoor applications is around 520 megapixels of camera and you are doing around 1920 by 1920 resolution with a CMOS sensor. Each of the camera is five megapixels. So I have five of them, so it's around 25, more than 20 megapixels. And we have two LiDAR systems over here with inbuilt battery and inbuilt computer, which so stores the memory. So there's a one TB hard drive inside to store all the data. So you're not basically carrying any wired systems around you. I have a, a Wi-Fi enabled uh, tough book in my hand and I can see the pictures and the LiDAR data being logged in uh, while I'm walking. So while you're walking, you're not only mapping, you're also generating the data. Yes, we are generating the data, we are ca looking at the data, and we are actually making sure that the pictures, the images that are coming out are being are being logged in with the correct lighting exposure around you. So we have indoor, outdoor exposures, and we have manual exposure settings as well on the move. So Apart from doing some physical exercise, you can also map the entire area. You can basically be doing that. So you walk a lot, so you do your exercises, and you generate data for yourself, yes. And what is the one concern that many people will have is that since it's a backpack, one will have to look at the battery life also. What is the battery life? What is the duration that it will take yes, to charge so the battery? What we what we have, as I said, there's a set of four batteries inside. So all the four batteries would have a juice time of around five hours. So you have eight batteries coming in. So, and you can hot swap these batteries on the move. So without even removing the backpack, a guy who is with me, who is helping me around, can just hot swap the batteries on the move. So I know the level of the batteries on my on my tough book, on my uh, tough handbook, and I can change the batteries on the move. I know which slot is going down.